Hi, I'm Julie Reed, and today we are going to discuss standard troughing idlers and return idlers on a conveyor. Troughing idlers are located on the top side of the belt, and their role is to form the belt trough and to support the load of the material and the belt. Return idlers are on the underside of the belt, and their job is to support the belt on the return path for the belt to be reloaded. So troughing idlers are available in 20 degree, 35 degree, and 45 degree, with 35 degree being the most common. Typically, troughing idlers are spaced in four foot centers, but may be spaced further or closer together depending on load requirements. Standard troughing idlers come with three equal length steel rolls available in SEMA B, C, D, E, and F, and the roll diameters can be from four to eight inch. PPI's frame design optimizes productivity by supporting the load of the material and protecting the belt, which is often the most expensive component on a conveyor system. Our frame design reduces roll gap and helps to avoid a belt pinch point. This can be a common problem, especially on lightweight belts. Our heavy duty formed end bracket has a slight bend for stability. It also helps to make it lighter than straight brackets in the industry. The frame also has thick foot pads for a solid secure base when attached to the structure. Also, they are slotted for ease of installation. Wide center brackets for heavy loads. This helps us to meet or exceed SEMA standards for load specifications. The frame base has an inverted angle cross member to help reduce material buildup. This helps with any spillage. The material is then shed and helps keep the roll turning. Impact troughing idlers are another type of idler on a conveyor. They are mounted under the loading zone and designed with rubber disc rolls to absorb more force when material is being loaded on the belt. The rolls sit on a reinforced frame with an added gusset inside the center brackets and a second cross angle under the frame base. Transition idlers are required near the head and tail pulley. Their function is to help transition the idler from zero degrees at the pulley to the desired trough angle down the conveyor. After the tail pulley, SEMA recommends a full trough depth arrangement. Before the head pulley, SEMA recommends a third trough depth arrangement. The transition point is important for belt life, idler life, and a controlling spillage. The longer transition distance will result in less wear on all components. PPI offers adjustable transition idlers that can adjust the trough angle from zero degree to 35 degree in two and a half degree increments. PPI has two designs, an offset center roll design and an inline trough design. Return idlers support the belt on the return path. They are commonly spaced on 10 foot centers and may be spaced closer or further apart depending on load requirements. Return idlers are made up of a steel roll, two drop brackets, and retaining clips to keep the roll in place. Since return idlers are in contact with the dirty side of the belt, material buildup can be an issue. Our first alternative option and most economical recommendation is a return rubber disc roll. They help to avoid material buildup. 